Hello and welcome to the official CyberDog server. My name is Brian Etter. In this video, I will show you how to build the minecart mechanism used in the Survival Railway Network stations. This is Spawn Station, situated in the, sea, in the Spawn City on the CyberDog server. It's the biggest station and has four examples of these minecart platform launchers. One for each major line running in each cardinal direction. So I'm going to show you how to build these and how they work. To begin with, I'm going to go back to my base. This is my base, and you can see there is a railway station with a glass roof just behind that tree. And there it is in-game. So now I can show you along. This is the standard survival railway network station that you would find outside of the spawn city. When you press the button, minecarts are dispensed and the player is propelled along the railway line. And upon return to the railway station, the minecart is taken off the player and is deposited somewhere inside the mechanism. Changing platforms is simple. And the railway lines cover vast distances across the whole of the map. Now, I'm going to leave this one here and take you to my single player survival world to show you how this is built. And here I am in my single player creative world. This is the mechanism which is found underneath the platforms of SRN stations. So I'll give a quick overview of how it works. First of all, the button activates this redstone, causing a minecart to be dispensed from the dispenser onto this powered rail, which forces it in this direction up onto the platform. The trapdoor opens when the minecart gets close enough to this detector rail and it comes out onto the platform, like so. When the player arrives in a minecart, the trap door opens, the activator rail shakes the player out, and the minecart continues down, is propelled into the cactus, where it breaks into an item, falls into the hopper, and is recycled back into this large chest and throw into the dispenser below. The redstone torch powers this two powered rails. This redstone torch keeps this activator rail powered and this redstone torch powers the powered rails at the exit. They don't ever change. The only thing that the button does is dispense a minecart. The only thing the detector rail does is open up the trapdoor. So now I'm going to show you how to build it. I will place myself into survival mode and you'll need a 10 by 3 area. You'll also need in the corner a double chest containing minecarts and these are the materials that you will need to build it. A tool for breaking blocks, you will need four powered rails, three ordinary rails, an activator rail and a detector rail, a dispenser, three hoppers, two iron trap doors, You'll need three redstone torches, four redstone dust, a cactus and some sand to put it on, five solid blocks, 27 half slabs, and a button of either variety. Now to begin, we're going to remove three blocks from the floor, here, here, and here. In this central hole, a dispenser facing upwards. Feeding into the dispenser, a hopper, Fitting into that hopper, a second hopper, under the chest, which is now emptying its minecarts into the dispenser. The last hopper goes into the chest from this spot just behind the dispenser. The sand and the cactus go here, and then, using our half slabs on top of the cactus, 
and all the way around it to two further on. From this side we can take the half slabs all the way to the end of the platform. From this side two more is convenient and then a solid block on the floor next to them. We can take our redstone dust and place it all here. Next I'm going to place a half slab here and here and then remove this one. I'm going to take a full block place it there. Next to the full block that we just placed, a half slab, and then we can read half slabs all the way along, and a full slab near the end. The position there doesn't really matter, this is only to power the rails. Here I'm going to place a temporary half slab here, and on that one trapdoor. Remove that. Coming around to the other side, on top of this trapdoor another half slab, temporary, then trapdoor on the side of it. It's a little bit higher than the, than the one next to it. On top of this redstone, a solid block, and then behind that solid block, the remainder of our half slabs. A redstone torch needs to be placed here, and a solid block needs to be placed here, diagonally next to this hopper, with a redstone torch on there final redstone torch under the solid block. I'm going to place the powered rails here and here, a regular rail here, detector rail, activator rail, sorry, here, and then locked myself break that. Detector rail next to the trapdoor. Normal rails here and at the end to powered rails. And finally the button goes there. We now have a working station. So, I hope that's all you uh, need to know to build your own. You can reflect this from left to right. It's not symmetrical, but if you reverse everything, it will still work fine. So you can choose which side to place your solid block on. And something that many of the builds on the server have is a second solid block on which they place a sign with the destinations on it. So, we can now uh, join these two together. with a torch. What did I miss? I missed out a rail. Little test ride, all the way around.
that works. So, thank you very much for watching, and I hope this was useful.